Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to tell you two things that I don't do that I notice many frugal people do. And I wanted to talk to you about that today. The first one is I do not have my bills automated or auto-drafted out of my account. I notice many frugal people, because they want to save time and they want to save money, they have bills already automatically set up where on a certain day of the month that money, let's just say it's your internet bill, comes automatically debited out of your account on that certain day. I do not do that and I'm going to tell you why I don't. First of all, I used to, and actually I have recently changed this, I used to mail checks for all my bills, which I realize is quite old fashioned. So now what I've been doing is paying bills by phone, but I choose the day and the time that I want to do that. And I also receive paper copies of my bills in the mail, so that way I can look over that entire bill with a fine tooth comb and know what I'm paying for. For example, I have my electric bill, and electric and water and all that's put on one bill. Um, I know of someone that pays it electronically, and they get an email of what their bill is, but, and, but they no longer get it in the mail. Well, the email does not give them a rundown of everything. It doesn't give them all the detail. So I like to get my bill in the mail so I can look everything over. Then I call and I pay most of them by telephone. And that works out well. That way I can see what the bill is, if there's a discrepancy or any mistakes, and then I can choose the day and time that I pay it. Now I am saving money because I'm not using a stamp, it just takes a little more time. So I'm not saving time, but there's another reason I don't want a bill being auto-drafted. And I'm going to give you an example of a story from a friend. I used to belong to a health club, a really good health club, and no longer do in heaven for a while. I went with a particular friend. This particular friend was using a service at the health club and she was getting some personal training. There was a miscommunication about when that auto draft would come out of her account and how much it would be. And one of the months, if I'm not mistaken, I think she got double charged and it was taken out of her account. She didn't have the money in there and all these other checks and things started bouncing. So that's the reason that I don't have the any of my bills being auto drafted. Now, there are a few bills that they want to auto draft, but instead, what I do, and like an example of one of them would be uh, State Farm for my insurance for car and home. I have that put on my credit card. I also get a copy of that. That way, if there's an issue or a mistake, and State Farm's never made one, Discover's never made one. I can, you know, put in a, you know, dispute or call State Farm and it's put on my credit card instead. So it works out better for me. And as a matter of fact, my second thing that I don't use is I do not use any kind of debit card. I use a credit card because of, like I mentioned, so I can dispute things. I know the way I do things seems quite different than many frugal people because one of the things I've noticed about many people that are frugal is they also are really good time managers and they try to, you know, they think time is money and they make sure to not waste a lot of time. And so I think that's part of the reason that many of them have their bills automatically taken out on certain days of the month. But I like to be in control get that paper bill, look everything over with a fine tooth comb because I have found mistakes before and to be in charge of when I want to pay it on what day and I usually pay my bills by phone. I would like to know what you think of what I'm saying. Do any of you agree with me? If you want to share in the comments below, I'd love to know how you pay your bills. And by the way, if any of you like this video, I have many other good budgeting videos on the channel that I hope that you like. And you can join our community and add some wonderful comments. You're going to really enjoy all the other subscribers here and the fabulous comments they leave. That's all I have to say for now. I love you, appreciate you, and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.